potential feed well through the dark hours, but if you're not going to be up overnight, you've got to be in your swim as the sun gets up. We've just settled in the float fishing swim, which has been carefully pre-baited. The wind's blowing actually onto this bank, and it's perfect for float fishing. Um, the swim's surrounded by uh, dense beds of weed on the bottom, just slightly under the surface. Uh, this swim is very deep, close in here. It's been carefully pre-baited over a series of two or three evenings. Um, and the channel that runs along the bottom here is, has been pre-baited with sweet corn and mini boilies in, in order to tempt the fish to come along this, uh, this deep bar close in towards the bank here. And then what I'm going to do is, as you can see here, I'm set up for float fishing, a 12 foot through action rod, centre pin reel, traditional style centre pin reel, three pound line, uh, straight through to uh, a conventional lift method rake, which is an old style method of tench fishing, which is tremendously exciting. It's so exciting that when you actually see the, uh, the float lift out of the water and lay flat, I'll describe to you in a little while how to, to set this rig up, um, but I find it ever so, uh, ever so enjoyable. What I'll do now is I'll just lift in, and as you can see the rod is set up on two rod rests so that the line can move through the front one. And uh, the back rod rest is a, just a cut one, but the front one is, is one that the line can easily move through. And uh, the object of that is to get the rod nice and stable so that when you actually set the float up, um, you can just wind down a little bit or wind back as the case may be and actually set the float up so that it either rises or sinks in the water. I'll lift in now and then I'll show you how the rig works. I use my little bit of card again, you'll be able to see it much easier. I'll pull the float down uh, quite a bit here. I am fishing a swim which is probably six to seven feet deep and I'm fishing it six inches over depth. Um, so what, ideally what you want to do is when you get into a swim that you're going to float fish is plumb the depth straight away, find the actual depth and then fish your lift method six inches over depth. That's exactly how the rig will work. But if I briefly describe to you the method, then there you've got standard hair rig again. Uh, this is a a smaller hook this time, this is a 12 with too many boilies on, and an SSG non-toxic shot four or five inches away from the hook. It can be a little bit closer than that if you want, but the rig has been working for me for quite a number of years now, exactly like that. And the object of the exercise is to, that's just a standard waggler float with a little adapter on and two dust shot either side just to lock the float in position. The object of the exercise is a tench comes along, picks that bait up, lifts the SSG shot off the bottom, and the rod is under, the float is under tension on these rod rests, and as the tench picks the bait up, then the float will rise out of the water and lie flat, and that is actually a bite indication, not the actual float going under, but as the float rises out of the water, then it will, it will then be a time when you've got to strike. Um, that's very important. Sometimes you'll get no preliminary warnings. You'll perhaps get a, a patch of bubbles come around your float, which is ever so exciting, and then your float will just come out of the water, lie flat. If you strike straight away, then the, what's happened is the tension's picked the mini boilies up, lifted your shot off the bottom, and is about to move away. Do these little bits and pieces. I'll pop them down here, and uh, we'll get back to the real thing. Yeah, that's the real thing. I'll put the car down and we'll cast, cast the rig. We'll cast the rig in and see how effective it is.
typical left bite. Feels like quite a good fish. Again on the old centre pin, it's putting up a hell of a struggle. Running towards me a little bit. Another lovely fish. It's fighting. Oh, tremendous, tremendous. There's nothing like floor fishing for tench. It's really enjoyable. The old centre pin. It tends to take all the excitement out of it at times when you're fishing with um, fixed ball reels. It's it's very mechanical, and I, I often like to use a centre pin reel not just for tench fishing like this, but for float fishing for other species of fish. It's fighting like crazy. I would think it's got to be a male list. This control with the old centre pin is is excellent. You can, uh, when a fish is ploughing off, like this one's doing, then you've just got to ease it like that with your thumb and you can ease the control, there's no problem. Still keeping tension on the fish. It's nice to, uh, nice to feel a fish on a centre pin and a float rod. We're using three pound line here, slightly smaller hook. And a fish is absolutely going bananas. They're really coming on to feed now. I think it's a male. There you go. It's quite a plump male as well, that one. It's a lovely fish. You can see how close the shot is to the actual hook. That's the most exciting way of catching tench. That's tremendous. Well, that's one of many, I should think. Just pop that on there. We'll pop this in the key net and then uh, we'll see how many more we can catch.